Yes, it's June, but that doesn't mean we still can't talk about Iowa football. We're just a few months away from the season. I'm feeling a little bit better. Kind of got struck with a early summer cold over the past week or two. So nice to be back and happy to be back on here on this channel talking Iowa sports. So topic I wanted to cover today is Iowa recruiting. And there's a few uh, players out there in the 24 class and even the 23 class. A couple guys we haven't done breakdown videos on. Those are going to be dropping here in the coming days. And we'll start with a 2024 commitment, and that is Xavier Williams, the Indiana running back that committed to the Hawkeyes uh, several weeks back. I think it was back in April. I'm not, my memory serves me correctly. I don't have that written down here. But uh, Xavier Williams committing kind of in the same time frame that uh, Iowa back, Brevin Dahl committed. So Iowa adds a couple of backs. Liddell Betts continuing to do really well on the recruiting trail and he has been a saving grace at that position group since he's gotten here and uh, certainly has the credentials to uh, get a big guy like Xavier Williams, a six foot, 220 pound bruiser out of Lake Central High School in St. John, Indiana. We'll talk about Williams in just a second, but first, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Iowa Floor Covering and their Tough Core Click Together 4.5 millimeter waterproof vinyl flooring. If you're starting a project in your home or you're thinking about remodeling your kitchen, whatever the case may be, Check out this awesome self-installation flooring, folks. It's their Tough Core Click Together 4.5 millimeter waterproof vinyl flooring available at the self-installation rate at $269 per foot, and they'll treat you right. And by the way, the guys down at Iowa Floor Covering, in case you didn't know this, Tyler, Ryan, and the boys, they're Hawkeye fans. So support the guys down in Bondurant at IFC. And as you support our sponsors, you are supporting the work being done here from the Hawkeye of the Storm. So the Hawkeyes adding Xavier Williams out of St. John, Indiana, attending Lake Central High School, which is a 6A football school. All right, that's a notable uh, piece here. Of course, six classes in the state of Indiana. And this guy is what I'd call a bruiser at six foot, 220, coming out of high school. As far as comparisons, you always want to look for comparisons, right? Everybody wants comparisons. Uh, build, I, I think he maybe resembles kind of like a Gavin Williams or even a LaShawn Daniels. But I'll say this, when watching... Xavier Williams on tape. He's got a really nice jump cut for a guy his size. He is not afraid of contact, all right, which you'd expect with a guy who's 220 pounds coming out of high school. So he is a bigger kid. Um, he was an All-State running back in 2022, rushed for over 1,400 yards in 2022, along with 13 touchdowns, an average of 6.5 yards per carry, again, at a very good level of high school football in the state of Indiana. By the way, Lake Central High School, not far out of Chicago, so not far into Indiana on that southeast corner uh, of Chicago. Uh, visited Iowa a couple of times. He's scheduled to visit again on June 23rd. Also visited Purdue, Iowa State. Those two schools did not drop an offer, at least according to Xavier and, and what he's reported. A bunch of Mac schools were in on Xavier Williams uh, and offered, as I mentioned, really good jump cuts. Good speed for a guy his size. I, I wouldn't say breakaway, like top-end speed that you'd see out of maybe even a guy like Brevin Dahl who's going to be coming in here in that same class, or certainly a guy like Caleb Johnson who's got that really long stride at 6'1", 6'2". But good speed. I'd say good speed for his size. Uh, and as I said earlier, he uses his size well, not afraid of contact. He, in fact, he seeks contact out, lowers his shoulder pads, and is willing uh, to bulldoze uh, defenders, which is always good to see a guy who's not afraid of a hit. And it's got solid vision from based on what I'm seeing. And of course, again, I'm looking at mainly highlight film and trying to break things down, read between the lines. He appears to be a willing pass catcher, but I'll say this very limited tape on his ability to catch out of the backfield. So what are his hands like? Uh, certainly his ability uh, to run routes, pick up blitzes at the Big Ten level. Those will all be question marks. And those are question marks for basically every tailback coming out of high school but as i said all state running back in 2022 really good size and if you're looking at a running back that's maybe comparable as far as body type maybe liddell betts i think liddell was like 511 i don't know what he weighed at a high school ended up in the 230 range i think at the nfl level so if there's anybody that's going to be able to teach a kid like this how to use that size well I would say it's probably Liddell Betts. And Liddell Betts, I'll say this, I've said it many times before, he has earned my trust, not only with developing backs, but specifically on the recruiting trail. In fact, I'd give him a bigger plus on the recruiting trail. We'll see how he develops guys like Caleb Johnson, Jazzy and Patterson, et cetera. But he's done really a nice job uh, landing some of these bigger names. And Caleb Johnson and Jazz Patterson were, I'd say, big-time recruits, at least according to what I was looking for, the type of back that they are. And uh, Xavier Williams 
not the Brevin Dahl type, but those two guys coming in in the same class could complement each other really well. Xavier Williams, hard to take down, just like Brevin Dahl, but very different styles of play. I mentioned a bunch of Mac schools that dropped an offer for uh, Xavier Williams. All those offers coming in the past few months, Ball State being one, Bowling Green, Eastern Michigan, Kent State, Miami, Ohio, Northern Illinois, Western Michigan, Toledo. So basically, he could have taken his pick in the MAC and uh, Indiana State also throwing out an offer to Xavier Williams. By the way, Xavier Williams, not to be confused with another Xavier Williams, spelled with an O, not an E, that played DB at Iowa here a couple of years ago, transferred over from U and I. Never really saw the field, but uh, was a transfer portal guy that Iowa landed here a couple of years ago. So, congratulations to Xavier Williams. And uh, should be a nice addition to that 24 class as Liddell Betts and company continue to do a nice job despite the struggles running the football, which I would attribute more to poor performances up front. But it's a collective effort, right? Everything has to work together and wide receiver blocking and play certainly uh, is a factor as is quarterback play, right? All those things uh, play into can you run the football effectively? Xavier Williams has shown the ability to do that at the 6A uh, class 6A level in Indiana. We'll see if he can do it at the Big Ten level here in a couple of years. Appreciate you tuning in for another edition of the show. Let me know what you thought. If you watched some Xavier Williams tape, maybe you've watched him in person or at least watched his huddle film. Tell me what you thought in the comments. Also hit that like button. Please subscribe. Turn the bell notifications on here from the Hawkeye of the Storm so you know when we're posting new content going live, including call-in shows throughout the summer. And we'll talk to you soon.